Hello everybody, Bill Harrison here with Harden Power Systems. Real excited to introduce you to the third generation long shot. Now our long shot system has got a reputation for uh, for being the, the way to power a GoPro camera without a battery and therefore being able to power a GoPro camera for a long, long time. Um, the uh, the long shot has uh, has solved some interesting problems for our customers. We've got systems on uh, on helicopters and airplanes and boats and drones. Um, in fact, just recently the uh, the Orion launch and recovery done by NASA um, the uh, the NASA drones that were part of the Pacific recovery were running. Uh, our long shot system on their uh, on their GoPro cameras. Um, so the, the the long shot is is a significant device if your goal is to be able to power GoPro cameras for uh, for long periods um, and also to to power them uh, while maintaining the integrity of the waterproof housing, which is a pretty big deal depending on what you're doing. In any case, the third generation represents exactly that. It's, uh, it's uh, frankly a, a long list of, uh, of, of incremental improvements and in R&D that has brought us to, to the point where we're very excited to introduce you to the, the latest and greatest version of our battery elimination for the GoPro camera. Um, we've got two versions. This is one. It's what we call the SD. SD is for standard duty. The standard duty system uses a an A style USB plug for its uh, for its power connection to whatever your power source may be. Um, the second version is what we call the HD for heavy duty, and some of our current long shot customers will be familiar with this cable. This is gorgeous. This is a a cable that's actually adapted from. Uh, from underwater scuba diving lights. Um, it's a very robust, very tough cable, clearly waterproof, um, and it has uh, this two-pin waterproof lockable connector, uh, which can make all the difference to you in the world if you need to be um, not just underwater, but maybe underwater deep, um, up to 40 meters, actually, in depth. Um, so again, those are the two systems. We've got the SD, the standard duty, and the HD, the heavy duty. So if we go back to looking here at the SD, the standard duty version, um, really what you have is, uh, is a battery eliminator. This contains the electronics that take care of the conversion of power um, to allow you to, uh, to put in uh, uh, anywhere from 24 volts to 5 volts and know that your camera is still going to get what it needs to, to have to operate correctly. So let's take the HD version, which I happen to already have snapped into a housing here. Now, uh, if you look on our site, you'll see some, some verbiage about this. Our preference is to use this, uh, what some people would call the original um, housing. It's, uh, it's what GoPro calls their 60 meter housing. Um, we prefer it. It's, it is just slightly larger. Um, but there are benefits. Uh, these, these small standoff ribs that are located inside uh, create an air space around the camera which helps with heat management. Um, for some folks that makes a big difference because the camera is less prone to overheat, um, which is an indirect benefit of our long shot also is that it, uh, the camera tends to run cooler if you're using our long shot versus a battery. But in any event, this is the 60 meter housing. Um, both systems come with this complete housing. And part of that is this modified back door. Um, you can see the stainless steel umbilical gland that enters the door. Um, and we've got some stuff going on inside here that you can't see. And then we come back to the, the battery eliminator. So all we're going to do is we're going to take a standard GoPro Hero 3. This one happens to be a silver. And uh, uh, the long shot will work with any GoPro Hero 3 camera, black, silver, or white, including the new Plus. So we're going to take our GoPro camera, 
we'll drop it into the case we'll take the battery eliminator and just as if it were a battery we're just going to latch it into place once we've done that swing the door closed latch the door closed and that's it you've just installed the long shot now in uh, in our scenario um, uh, this being the HD version this particular long shot system comes with three different connection scenarios all three use this now, this is a real nice uh, 12 foot long uh, waterproof uh, DC cable that has the corresponding locking waterproof connection to go to the long shot at the other end it's got uh, what some folks will call an automotive style um, SAE flat plug or J plug you might recognize that it's fairly common with some chargers and things but it's a it's a nice uh, a nice two pin connection that can't be connected backwards so you get this and then based on your needs you connect one of these three items battery cables pretty obvious you could connect your long shot directly to a, a battery in a vehicle or a boat or a plane or whatever again anything from 5 volts up to 24 so military vehicles and helicopters and airplanes um, the native 24 volt system is just fine for this you can also use ring terminals same thing 5 to 24 volts this obviously would be more for a permanent or a semi-permanent semi installation uh, a lot of folks use these when uh, when the installation needs to tolerate a lot of vibration um, and that's going to include um, many boats but also helicopters and uh, and drones um, things that uh, that are really pretty tough on equipment the ring terminals are nice for that um, and then the third is pretty obvious this is just a standard automotive cigarette plug so plug it into the lighter in your car and run your GoPro so that is the HD or the heavy-duty version okay now since it is a good opportunity to do so I'm going to show you how you actually could swap and I'm going to do this just as if it were a battery I'm going to release this latch pop out the the battery eliminator but the next thing I'm going to do is pop the door off of the front half of the housing I'm going to do that because this particular housing I wanted to, to show you has been drilled out to allow the microphone to record audio this is an optional thing obviously as soon as you do this this housing is no longer waterproof but in some scenarios um, uh, like monitoring or uh, uh, vehicle uh, onboard uh, cameras uh, this makes sense if you want to be able to record audio too but I wanted to show you how easy it is here we again have the SD version so this is standard duty this is a, a common USB plug everything else is the same this is the the, the same back door the same battery eliminator the same connection but what I'm gonna do is uh, take this door and snap it onto the housing and then once I've done that I'm going to take our same camera snap the eliminator into it put the camera in the housing close it all up now just uh, to establish that everything works um, and there's nothing up my sleeve um, we'll go ahead and take this USB connection I just plugged it into a, a little USB adapter so this is as if you had just done the same thing you snap the battery into your GoPro you plug it into a, a USB power source and the cameras on indicates a full battery which it's going to indicate because as far as the camera is concerned it thinks there's a battery in there and that, that battery is full um, so uh, that is our long shot G3 
two versions, SD and HD. Um, they're very reasonably priced. Uh, we've been, been able to, thanks to economies of scale and some neat R&D and some cooperative relationships, um, not only improve the system, how it works, how easily it is to install and to operate, um, but it's a, a, a slightly more efficient um, steward of power. The, the conversion of, of voltage happens a little more efficiently. Um, but we've been able to do all that and actually either hold or reduce the price, depending on which system you're looking at. Um, in any case, please do come to PortableUniversalPower.com. My name is Bill Harrison. I really appreciate your time. Folks, uh, please do consider our new Longshot G3. And uh, you can also come see us at GoProLonger.com. Thank you much. Take care.